Hello everyone, today we are going to review the movie From Pairs with Love. Uh, this movie is now 11 years old, because again, we are in 2021, sometimes I forget that, because we're still in the first month, but, uh, oh god, <clears throat> sorry, I did a food review, or I just filmed a food review for my other channel, I'm not sure when that will go up, but, uh, yeah, I guess that's where that burp came from. Uh, so this movie... Actually, before we, get, before we really get started, as I'm searching it up to kind of uh, remember some of the characters' names. Uh... Okay. Really? Huh. Ah, sorry. I'm just looking through the cast and seeing who was in this movie, and I'm not even remembering what part this girl played, because I've seen her in other stuff. Anyhow, kind of going off topic. Uh, but before we get really into this review, I just wanted to say uh, a bald John Travolta is just on a whole other level of badassery, if that's even a word. If it's not, it is now, because I just created it. Um, I've heard people say that before, so it's probably in the dictionary already. Um, don't quote me on that, because obviously I'm not going to go through a dictionary. I don't even think I have a dictionary. So I'm not going to go through one and pretend like I am some sort of like, ooh, got to search to see if that's a real word or not. Anyhow, uh, but yeah, my god, I'm not sure if he did his own stunts in this movie, but if he did, kudos to him, because this was probably... He was in probably incredible shape for this movie to do some of the things that he had to do in this movie. Especially the uh, car chase scene at the end where they're trying to stop the car from blowing up. And uh, blowing up the motorcade. Um, I believe which was for an ambassador of some sort. Do, 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 do. Foreign minister, maybe maybe she was a foreign minister. Oh, head of the delegation. That's who she was. Okay. Yes. Okay. So before they can kill the head of the delegation, that's who that woman was at the end. Okay. Anyhow, um, so basically this movie starts out with this character, uh, James Reese. He's working as security detail for this ambassador, Ambassador Bennington. And uh, I guess this guy's kind of calling him uh, f quite frequently to basically up his skill set and become a Secret Service agent, I believe. I'm remembering that correctly. I started this movie last night, so I just finished it this morning, so if I'm not remembering everything correctly, forgive me. But, uh, yeah, I believe he's kind of working... I don't know whether it was Secret Service or Special special Ops, maybe? I, I can't uh, quite remember. Anyway, um, he has to go in and get this partner that's basically his last mission, uh, named Wax. And uh, that's when things start to go a little awry for him, obviously. Uh, because he ends up <laughs> basically getting himself involved uh, with Wax's mission, which is to take down uh, this terrorist group that's obviously trying to, again, kill this um, head of the delegation. Uh, so, on their mission, um, Reese has just been... Uh, I guess he kind of got engaged, um, yeah, because his fiance gave him a ring. Uh, so they first go to this Chinese restaurant, and it starts out with drugs, and then Reese is asking all these questions. He says uh, it's the Secretary of Defense's daughter. He doesn't want her uh, name put out there as, I believe she. he said that she overdosed or something. And ended up dying from uh, the drugs that she was taking, which was cocaine, so it was bad cocaine. Uh, 
And then he finds out later that it's not about that, it's actually about finding this terrorist cell, and basically the drugs are going to lead them to this terrorist cell, and they end up actually taking that whole terrorist cell out in, like, a matter of, I don't know, whether it was like a week or something. But then, down the road, when uh, Reese invites Wax over for dinner, he gets this call, and then he kills the other woman at the table that's sitting with him, and then uh, Wax tries to explain to Reese that his uh, wife is in on, or his fiance is in on this too. He puts the ring close to the radio, and it transmits this weird uh, frequency to the radio. So now he knows that uh, they've been tracking them through this ring the entire time. And Reese asks his wife why, or his fiance why, and she just tries to escape. Anyway, she does end up escaping, and uh, she does have this bomb strapped to her at the end of the movie, and he tries to talk her out of it, but she goes to press it, so he has to pull the trigger, and unfortunately, he has to kill her uh, to save the day. Uh, it was kind of hard for him, obviously, because nobody believed him in the beginning uh, when he first walks in there that he's even the ambassador's uh, security detail, and I guess he's not supposed to carry a gun, I'm not really sure why, when you would be security detail, why you wouldn't be carrying some sort of weapon. Uh, but maybe he just didn't do that for his own moral purposes, I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, now he definitely carries a gun, because I believe that he is going to start working with uh, Wax at the end of the movie, when he plays chess with him, even though when... He went to pick him up from the police station, and Wax was complaining about his cans, which had, obviously, all the pieces to his gun in it. Uh, <clears throat> he said that to him, he didn't, like, Wax says to Reese, do I look like I play board games? And it turns out he was actually a chess player, a very advent chess player himself, I guess, at the end of the movie was kind of the joke. Um, Obviously, Reese and Wax are kind of like the ultimate duo, because uh, Wax is just all about going in and killing, and just getting the job done as quickly as possible, and Reese kind of is like the negotiator type, I guess, in a way. So, uh, Wax says to Reese at one point in the movie that he kind of keeps him humble and level-headed. Uh, so they're like the perfect duo, I guess, in Wax's mind. Uh, but yeah, this movie was definitely action-packed, uh, lots of crazy scenes, um, and it was funny because Reese gets all worried in the beginning of the movie, and then it just seems like Wax is almost like this ultimate, like, just badass assassin kind of guy, and just, like, takes on this whole, like, gang of, I don't know whether he called them Dragon, Dragon something, um, they're in Paris, by the way. All of this is taking place in Paris, because that's where Reese lives. So Wax is called over there to do this to do this mission, and Reese has to help in order to prove that he can be part of uh, be part of this new group he wants to be in, or uh, prove himself in this new job that he's wanting to do. So he's trying to get this promotion. Anyhow, I would say that he more than proves that at the end of the movie when he is able to take out his own fiance due to the fact that she was going to blow up the building that they were in. <clears throat> um, so anyway, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this film. Um, I would love to see a sequel to this. It might be a little too late now, seeing as it's been 11 years and there's just... No, I don't think there's been any talk of any sequel, but... It would be cool. I don't know how old John Travolta is now. 1954. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he's... I'm not going to try to do that math in my head right now, but he's uh, definitely getting up there. So he would have been fairly old in this movie, I guess. Well, not. I shouldn't say that. Age is just a number, right? You're only as old as you feel. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think I've covered everything. If there's anything I missed, I'm sorry, because sometimes I don't get to finish uh, the movies within one day, so I kind of have to split the viewing. I would have liked to finish this before I left for work last night, but I just woke up too late and had to head out the door, so if if I got anything wrong or I missed anything, I'm sorry, uh, but this film was good. Oh yes, my rating, right. Uh, 
definitely, I would say a 9 out of 10, just because there were, uh, no, no, just, just a 9 out of 10. I don't really think I had anything too, uh, too many criticisms about this film. It wasn't, it, it wasn't, it wasn't a bad film. I just don't think I can give it a 10 out of 10, because I just, it was one of those films that's like good for its time, but you kind of forget about it, and maybe that's kind of why I'm feeling like it's a 9 out of 10, but it's good to go back and watch every uh, few years, that's for sure, just to, as a nostalgia thing, because I forgot how good this movie actually was, and I just guess I kind of forgot about it entirely, but uh, sometimes it's good for films like that, because then you go back and it's like watching it for the first time, I know I say that for a lot of these reviews, but it's rewatching films and rewatching them and rewatching them can sometimes get a little old cuz i've done that with a lot of films as i've said before and you just it's just like beating a dead horse because you've watched it so many times and then you just get sick of it after a while uh even if it we used to be like one of your favorites it's just like oh my god i've watched this too many times now and i could almost recite every scene and every line of the movie but uh yeah for for certain films it's always good to maybe sometimes completely forget that they even exist, and then all of a sudden they just pop up one day on Netflix, and you're like, oh yeah, I remember that movie. I should go back and watch that. Uh, at least that's how I feel anyway. Maybe some people can just watch the same movie 50 times and never get sick of it, but that's not me. <clears throat> Although I do watch a lot of movies, so I guess maybe I like to just kind of expand my horizons as far as movies go. Anyhow, now I'm kind of rambling, but yeah, 9 out of 10, I've kind of talked about how I felt as to why I was giving it a 9 out of 10. Um, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, oh, comment down below your thoughts on this film too, if you've seen it. If not, please go watch it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.